while I'd heard of, of tales of, of such a tome that perhaps would interest him, and if he did come across it, I would maybe recommend leading him away from such a tome. It's a, a, a dark black book, sigils of... I'm not sure if you would be familiar, but a, an obscure and nefarious deity. Perhaps, perhaps you've really <laughs> heard. I was going to say, <laughs> no. perhaps, perhaps you've heard nothing of it, and I, I will impress you further. I'm, I just Asimar, like ourselves, should be cautious about such topics. And wait, how did you know? How did I? How did I know? I mean, I, I've been following your exploits for. I mean, it's not unusual that the tales that I've heard have been of a winged healer. <laughs> oh, that's fair. The grimoire that I mentioned that you have never seen before and have no recollection of. She starts maybe... to look a little bit um, like, <laughs> guilty. She looks a little bit guilty when he says that, yeah. May in some way be connected to this to a, to a, an organization that is less than friendly to our kind. Are you aware of your heritage? Do you know blood you flows in your veins? Um, yes, it's um, my mother's name. Uh -huh. And then she's like, um, I actually got to talk to my mother, who's named Seraphina, and she's the one who's been watching over me. And the I light know... drains from his face immediately. Oh no, what's wrong? This is gonna be crazy. Uh, oh no, we're related. <laughs> Shit. <Did> you... <laughs> damn it, you can't date the handsome knight. Oh no. Damn it, damn it. No, okay, go ahead. And he, he kind of extends a hand and puts it on your shoulder and says, Well, you are not alone in having not heard from our mother. Sister. A lot of really complicated emotions. Going on. <laughs> oh, erase no. memories. Erase memories. <laughs> <laughs> it's so so Oro has a chance. <laughs> so Oro has a chance. Immediately tell them that I was. Oh, I won't tell them. No, no. Especially I, not right now. But I want to give you this. <laughs> and he he leans into his uh, kind of like into it like a, a, a saddle bag that's near him. You guys, and, he, and he palms you something. And it just says, you know, to, to feel like you've clearly had a, a found family, but sometimes it's nice to know that your blood is with you too. And in your hand is a feather. One of his feathers. <laughs> in, uh, while I'm giving a hug, I whisper, I've definitely seen the book. And I think it's connected to her. I thought you meant. And I don't know what to do. It's okay. okay it's okay. <laughs> Okay. We're taking very good care of it, and yeah. and they're not using it. Info uh, dump. I neurodivergently <laughs> info dump. The moment he says that, the moment I tell him the whole story of like, we we uh, we found it. There was like an evil wizard. He was making undead things. At first, it seemed fine. Then we got stuck uh. in the Feywild. And we met that bitch and then and she was using it and i don't use the word char but i'm like yeah. and that person we talked yeah. about was definitely the one he was trying to get power. like the whole thing all of it that i know a haiku would have got rinsed for this just saying 